I want to share with you a great revelation that the Lord shared with me many, many years ago in the beginning of my walk. And the reason he shared this truth is because I came from a life of condemnation, self-hatred, guilt, regret, and shame over a lot of the things that I had done over the course of my life to include in my lukewarm Kim Kardashian Christian days. So uh, coming from that position, I always felt unsettled and I always felt unworthy and I couldn't appropriate the amazing gift of God's grace over my life to be able to forgive everything that I had done. So uh, I know what it feels like to feel condemned about some of the decisions that maybe uh, I've made personally or that you have made. And this is why we don't want to come at anybody with that heart of condemnation towards their decision. What I'm basically saying is, is if you as a believer feel convicted to not celebrate Christmas, then that is your choice. And that is a decision you've made based on your personal relationship with Jesus. However, that does not give us the right to condemn, right? To condemn others. We might feel convicted, but in that same uh, right, by that same right, we are not allowed to condemn others. We are allowed to love. We are allowed to educate. We are allowed to minister and to teach, but condemnation is never anything that we want to make anybody feel, or we can actually push them away from God, which is the very opposite of what we're trying to do as witnesses and disciples. All right, so let's continue. So the revelation he gave me years ago, and he basically said this to me in my heart, is he said, Melissa, I'm not interested in the what as much as I'm interested in the why. Uh, what the Lord was telling me is he's not interested in the what, all the sins I committed. Uh, yes, those are important to him, but he was more interested in the heart behind why I believe that I needed to commit those sins. The why is simply dictates the what. So the what are the sins, the things that we do, the decisions we make, the choices we make. God is more interested in why we're making that decision, why we've decided to make that choice. And the reason he's more interested in the why than the what is because the why reveals our heart. It reveals our beliefs, our perception about God, ourselves, and other people. And it gives God so much in-depth revelation into the things in us that need to be healed. You know, the, the deliverance and freedom that we need. And so the heart to the Lord is very important. And that's why he called David a man after his own heart. He didn't call him a man after his own mind or a man after his own decisions or choices, he called him a man after his own heart. So the heart uh, of our heart to our father is very, very important to him because this is where healing should take place first. So once again, God is interested in the why in this topic, why we're deciding to celebrate Christmas, not in the what, the Christmas wreath, the eggnog, the Christmas tree, the yuletide, the mistletoe. Those are the what's and God is more interested in why we are deciding to do what we're doing. Mm -hmm.